Hi, my name is Chad Williams, and today I'm going to talk about descriptive statistics. So first I'm going to start off with what people probably want, which is a package that's going to do everything for you quick and easy. I have uh, some stuff already preloaded here. So I have my short data as a read CSV, and that's just the file that we made in another video. And then I have just added column names to each of these. So what we see is we have 10 different points for each different condition. And these are different teaching styles. Um, I also have the psych library loaded here. And so if you don't have the psych library, install it. Now, very simply, all we need to do is use the function describe, and that is the function from the psych library. Now, this gives you everything you'll need for descriptive statistics. So first it tells you which one you're looking at. So that's the lecturer condition. And then it tells you which variable it is, which isn't too important, but the N, the mean, the standard deviation, median, and so forth. And here are some other variables that usually we don't talk too much about, but there are things like uh, the min and the, the max there. And then also where the range is or what the range is, uh, if there's a skew, uh, kurtosis, and standard error as well. Essentially, the idea is that we're able to pull these out really quick and easy. So that's great. That's very helpful. And we can even actually navigate this a bit here too. So what I'm going to do is actually put this into a variable. Oh, I put two S's, so I'm going to re do that there. And then I will look at this one. And what we see is we have all of these in a matrix. So what we have is across the top, just different column names and across the, the uh, side is different condition names. So with this, I could do the same thing we've done with normal variables. So if I'm looking for the mean of lecturer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go row one, one, two, three, and there's the mean of lecturer. So that's a quick and easy way to get our descriptive statistics. But one thing I need to point out is that this only works with our short data format. So if I go long data, and we did this in another video, um, and we're gonna melt the short data, but of course I need the reshape two package. What that does is it gives us our long data format, just like this. And if I say describe that, it's gonna essentially just assume these two columns are just different conditions. So that's as far as I know about this package function. So maybe there is a way to tell it um, this is long data format, treat it differently. Um, and if so, comment, let me know. Uh, but I'm not gonna explore that too much because we can just use the short format for now. Um, we could also do it more manually though. And so that's why I wanna move forward is because we wanna be able to look at this and really just see how it works. So I'm gonna use my long format and I'm gonna select the data, let's just say the uh, lecturer styles. So the sec, uh, sorry, first column where it equals, equals lecture. So what we see here is, is, oh, I missed the comma. So what we see is it's only our lecture variable now. And I'm gonna add this to a new variable called lecturer. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this new variable where it's still two columns and then we can do different things like we could mean lecture but remember because we only actually want to mean the very the data not the condition name we're going to look at the second column so that's what this is doing here second column there so if i go mean there's our mean and it's the same as our descriptive statistic i should mention where one point Five, four. Then we can also do standard deviation of the same thing. 
and there's our standard deviation, which is the same here. Uh, what else can we do here? Median. There's our median, 1.54 as well. And let's look here. So we could do the min. I'm skipping a few of these because they're less commonly used, like the MAD, for example, the mean absolute deviation. And so there's our min, our max, and they're fairly intuitively named here for sure. And we could do other things like skew, range. Let's do range, I like range. Great, so this is a little bit different because here it's showing the distance between these two, how wide the range is, but here it's showing the, the minimum and the maximum. So it's a little bit different, but that's all right. Uh, we could even get the, the size of the data, so the n, so that's actually length of the lecture two. So that would be the same as our n up here. Um, and they don't actually have a native standard error function, but we can make one with simple math here. And what I mean by native is things that RStudio and R come with automatically. So everything I'm doing here, I should mention, isn't using either the psych or the reshape package. This is something you could do without those packages. And this is just already built into R and R Studio. But if we want the standard error, what we do, if you don't know standard error, it's the standard deviation divided by the square root of our N. And that together is our standard error of 0 0.057, and we see that here. So these are more manual ways of doing it. And we can even get the quantiles here. So if I do that, oops, I run that, then we get our 0, 25, 50, 75, 100, which isn't actually included up in the descriptives, um, but you may be interested in that too. And again, all of these are just native to R and R Studio. But what the issue is, is then we're going to have to do it for each one more individually. If we had a short format, which we do actually, we can do that a little bit easier too. So we can, I'm just going to change one of them, but short data, column one is our lecture data, right? So that's our lecture data and it'll work just fine on that too. So we get 1.54. I just wanted to do it in long data format because personally, I always try and use long data format but it's also something that our statistics in the future are gonna to need to use. So we might as well get used to it now.